Welcome to my craft space. Today I want to do um, Nina Ribena's Our Journal Prompt 28, I think it is, which is to rework a page that you've done before that you're maybe not happy with. I don't have a naughty draw like D from Betsy Doodle or as Nina suggests because when I really hate something it goes in the low level non-retrievable file in other words the bin uh, but if it's in a journal if it's in a book I can't do that and so I have got one page that I really hate um, that I am going to work on today this is the page I've chosen to rework. I absolutely hate it. It was a mission inspiration page. It uses my probably least favourite colour, which is orange. Um, I made a video on this and I never published it because I hated it so much. I like the image and I like the quote. The image is uh, Laughing Jack, which was um, an arcade game that I, well not a game, an arcade machine. Um, and when I was little and we went on holiday to the seaside, you, you put your penny in the slot and Laughing Jack would just laugh. And apparently I used to stand in front of the machine and laugh along with Laughing Jack. Uh, so I thought the quote, laugh and the world laughs with you, was really appropriate. I'm looking at the page now and I'm thinking, within the confines of what I was trying to do, because it was a mission inspiration page, so the colours and the instructions were fairly specific, maybe it isn't so bad, but I would like to use the image and the quote and do something that I like a bit better. So the idea is to get blue and yellow, um, something that looks like the seaside, or a representation. So I'm going to start with the yellow at the bottom. And smoosh it around a bit, Let's see. This is the only yellow I've got. There are some new Distress Oxides out, which I would love to have, but because I'm doing the 100 things project, I can't buy yet. And as I've only done five so far, it'll be a while. I'm now going to try faded jeans and broken china sort of mixed together. I'm just going to dry that because I like the effect. Sorry, I forgot to film the second lot. I do like this. I'm just going to try and fill in a bit of the space. I don't want to smush it because I don't want to spoil the effect. And I think he goes quite well on it. I felt the sandy bit needed something more. I've mixed in a tiny little bit of vintage photo. I think he looks perfectly happy on that. I'm trying for something that will um, ground him into the picture. I've got this corrugated paper, it's quite light. I think it came out of biscuits, I think it was, wrapped around biscuits. I'm going to colour it. I'm 
I was going for a, a weathered breakwater type effect. So here I'm just sticking all the pieces together uh, using a glue stick. I was quite taken with the bunting on the last one, so I'm going to try and just get a nice, some nice bunting colours. So this is my distress oxiding wilted violet. And now I'm using my Stabilo wall pencil and a water barrel brush to put some shading around the figure. I know you're not seeing double, but I did make a mistake and so I had to replace him. I'm doing the border in um, faded jeans. And there we are. I think I do like it better than the other one. The colours are much more my sort of colours. So I'm glad I had the opportunity to rework it. And thank you Nina for suggesting it. Thank you everybody for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye for now. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor?